Hello people, this is Self Turds and we are continuing our series on Python MongoDB and in this video we will be inserting documents inside our MongoDB. So a document is inserted inside a collection and the collection is created inside a database. So a database in MongoDB is same as the database in MySQL. The table is called as collection and the record in a table of MySQL is called as a document in a MongoDB collection. So I think you have understood the analogy between the MySQL and the MongoDB database. So a document in MongoDB is similar to a record in MySQL table. So as I have told you before that the document is similar to a record in a MySQL table. A document is just like a dictionary with key value pairs. So if we talk in terms of Python. So in Python, we have a data type known as dictionary. So the dictionary contains only key and values at, at, as its uh, entities inside it. So a document is same as the dictionary which contain key and values. So the key is a string and the value can be anything. It can be a string, it can be an integer, it can be another uh, dictionary, it can be an array or anything. If you want to insert a single document inside your collection, then you need to use the insert one method of the collection instance of a MongoDB. So let's go to our IntelliJ idea and we will try to insert a document here. Now, in the previous videos, we have already taken this Mongo client instance from PyMongo library. Then we created this connection string. So our connection string is based on the MongoDB instance that we are running locally, which is having this IP address and it is running on this port. Now we will be creating a database that is inventory and the inventory will contain different items. So basically I have this connection string and then what I'm doing, I'm instantiating a Mongo client. After the Mongo client has been instantiated, I will try to get the database instance from that. So it will be client dot get database and the name of the database is what it is inventory. So basically I'll say inventory fine. Now, once we have taken the instance of the database, then we want to refer the collection. So what we need to do, we'll say collection or let's type the whole thing. Collection is equal to DB dot get collection and here the collection name. So let's say I'm typing the collection name as items. So you understand the hierarchy first is the database, then is the collection. So you have a MongoDB instance where a database is running and inside the database there is this collection. This is same as the MySQL that is there is a database and there is a table. Now once we have this collection instance then what we will do we will try to create our document that we want to insert inside MongoDB. So let's say I will say document and since we are creating an inventory so since it is a single document so we'll can create a single dict. So first is what the name of the item. So the name of the item will be, let's say we are creating a canvas item. Fine. The name item name is canvas. Then what is the quantity? So we will give the key name as quantity and let's say the number of quantity is hundred. Now I can give the tags. So let's say the tag is there and that will be an array. So that will be, let's say the cotton, it is of uh, the tax is of cotton so which means the item is made up of cotton so after that what will do will give the size of the item so the size of the item will be another dictionary here and the dictionary will contain what the height so what is the height so let's say the height is 28 and then we will have weight though so let's say the weight will be equal to what weight will be equal to 35 or width not Wait, it is width. So it is 35.5 and then we will have the unit of measurement. So I'll take the unit of measurement as the another key. So I'll type unit of measurement as centimeter. So let's say we are having the unit of measurement as centimeter. Now this data has been taken from the MongoDB data, uh, website only. So you can refer there also. So let me make it beautiful so that you are able to understand it and then this size so the size is a dictionary only so i forgot to put a dictionary key here and then inside the dictionary this will be the key value pairs fine 
so now i think it looks fine so this is size this is height and everything okay so the document is what there is an item key which is canvas then quantity then tags and this is the size information now let's go to the instance where our mongodb is running so we are inside our mongodb and this is the same mongodb which we are connecting so let's say we say show dbs so here you can see currently there is no database with the name inventory so as we have seen in previous videos that the database and the collection is created on the fly so now what we will do we will try to insert our document so let's say we say what the collection instance so this is the collection instance here and on that collection instance we will fire the command dot insert one okay so inside this we will supply the document okay fine up to here it is fine now what happens if we want to know about the last inserted id because let's say we are writing an api so in that case suppose we are creating a new user so once the user has been created successfully we need to return the id of that user which was created inside the database so let's go to our slideshow and here we can say that if you want to get the last inserted id that what was the id that was inserted by the mongodb itself then you can call this inserted id on the response of the insert one so insert one will return a response to you and that response will contain a, a property that is called inserted id and that you can use so let's say what we can do here is we can say it is response and finally what we will do we'll say last inserted id will be equal to equal to what it will be equal to response dot inserted id so one of the benefit of using intellij id or other better id is that they give you a better code completion so once it is here we will try to print it so we'll say print what the last inserted id is equal to what i'll do a format over the string and on that i'll just say last inserted id so let hope that everything is fine and we'll try to run our program on the right hand side so on the right hand side you can see i'm typing python app.py and i'll hit enter so you can see the last inserted id was this so it is a 24 character long and this is the way that mongodb inserts id inside themselves so let's go to our the database again and here you can do what this time we can again fire the command show db and you can see this time you got an inventory database formed automatically so you don't need to create a database now we'll go inside this inventory and let's show the collection so let's say show collections and you can see the collection was automatically created and the name of the collection is what items so you can see here i'm using the items as the name of the collection the same collection is made here now what i'll do i'll say db dot items dot find so let's say this is the command which is present there and we got this dictionary fine i can also show you here or i can go to robomongo let's say i have this tool installed here that is called as robomongo which you can use to act as a client so now what i will do here is i'll create a new instance so that will be what i will give a new connection name so that will be local mongodb and here i will provide the address so the address is what 192.168.0.10 so this ip address will be different in your case because you will be using some other database instance so it is already there i'll save it and then i will double click here so here you can see that you got an inventory and if you go inside collection you got item and this is the record that was there so if i say view document so you can see this was the id that is generated so you can match it here so on the last it is double four eight in the last year it is double four eight then the item name is canvas the quantity is same hundred tags cotton and size is same so all the data has been inserted successfully now what i will do i'll just delete the document from here so i'll right click and delete this document so this is robo mongo you can also install it and you can do the same thing which i have shown you that you can connect to mongodb and then you can view it here because it is very difficult to view everything inside your console so now 
we'll go to the slide and we'll see the next step that is if you want to insert multiple documents so there can be a case where bulk insert is needed only a single document is not inserted like if you have a import feature kind of thing inside your application so in that case you will be inserting more than one document into the mongodb database at once so in that case you need to use this insert many method over the collection instance and that inside that the parameter will be what it will be a list of documents so let's say we are here and we will create this documents and inside this documents will be what this will be a empty list fine then what we will do we will say documents dot append and i have already created the documents beforehand so i'll just copy and paste it here so i'll copy it here i'll come here and i'll paste it fine so let's do a command v here so this is already pasted so now what i'll do i need to make it in double quote so that is a pain here as of now because intellij idea is complaining about it so i'll come here i'll do a double quote here and then here also for the size i will just hit enter and then i'll double quote it here and the oof width also and then the unit of measurement also so up to here it is fine i think okay so is there comma is expected but why okay this is for this and i think this is for this so this is fine so the first item was canvas quantity and then tags and then the size so this i can keep it like this okay i have already created those documents so i'll just copy it from there and i'll paste it so first i'll take this document and i'll come here and i'll do what i'll again inside the documents i'll append the second one so it is here and let's do reformat it again so the item name is what journal quantity is 25 tags is this and the size is this let's now insert the third document so document dot append and i'll again copy the third document to the that place okay so i'll do a copy and i'll do a paste here okay so again after pasting i'll format the document so that it looks fine so the quantity name is item name is what mat quantity is 85 tax is gray and then this is the dimension let's take the last document that is the fourth document and then we will append it here so i'll say document start append and inside here i'll just do a copy paste and then what i'll do i'll reformat it again so the item is mouse pad quantity is 25 and the tags are this the size is this so we have created our own inventory list here and now this looks fine so now this document is what it contains a large number of other documents so this documents is a collection is a list and it contains these many documents so now what i'll do here i will just do what i'll go to my slide here and i'll show you that we were using what insert many so we will not use insert one we will use what insert many so that we can insert more than one document inside our mongodb instance and we will just pass for documents now once the document has been inserted we want to get all the last inserted ids so how we can do that we can just call the inserted ids parameter not parameter the uh, key on the inserted docs result so when you do insert many you get a result and on that result you can call this inserted ids and you can get the result so i'll say inserted ids and this will be last inserted ids and then we can copy it here and then we can paste it here so i think the code looks fine so we are taking a mongo client we are connecting it we are creating a database we are creating a collection and these are the different documents that we want to insert inside the inventory database and into the items collection and after that we are using the method insert many previously we have seen insert one and now we are seeing insert many once this is done then we will get all the last inserted ids let's go on the right hand side and try to run this program and also i'll show you on my robo mongo here that the items is currently blank it is zero records are there so i'll just go to here and then i'll run python app.py fine 
so we got the last inserted id so one two three four so these are the four different uh, ids that we got because we inserted four different documents now this is a object id because mongodb returns you an object id instance it is a object which mongodb understands but we will when we are writing an api or other thing we'll just return this as a string and again if you do some query on the id then you need to convert that string to object id so this is an important thing that you need to keep in mind now we'll go to robomongo and we will check again like we'll run here and you see uh, we got one two three four four documents are there so if i show you like this we got four document first then second then third and fourth so you can check first is canvas then journal then mat and then this mouse pad fine so we use this insert one method to insert a single document and insert many method to insert multiple document so this was all about this video that how we can insert document inside mongodb so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to this video and please share these videos with other people thank you